Hi everyone, it's Andrea here from Admire PR. Now I want to talk today about where PR fits in the sales process for your business. I've been asked this a couple of times recently. Um, so people have different ways of describing the leads they get into their sales pipeline. So I'll just run through the way I describe them um, and then you can compare with your own business. Um, but I tend to call like a lead, like a proper uh, conversation where some business might come out of it, like at least, you know, like that, that much of a conversation. So before leads, um, I have like suspects who are people who haven't got a clue about you. So that's like, you know, when you um, might, build a list of um, potential companies you might want to work with, but you haven't actually reached out to them um, yet, even though you might be known in the industry. So those would be kind of my suspects. And then I get prospects of the people whom I have messaged, tried to engage with in some kind of direct way. Um, and then, yeah, when there's a meaningful conversation, I, I turn those as leads, really. Um, until then, they're just like some people <laughs> in the world <laughs> who may one day need PR. We always hope. Anyway, um, yeah. So the way I think of PR, it's like any sort of organic marketing. Um, so things that you're not, paying for leads um so for instance um paid advertising works in a really different way than when you do your organic social so if you say you're posting on linkedin and you post a couple of times a week um and you you're you're building your audience organically and and in a steady sort of way and that's like that's a pr thing um if you're paying for LinkedIn ads, you're directly putting a message to a specific audience and that's that's different, okay? So PR sits with the organic side of marketing um, in general, okay? There are exceptions to every rule. Um, so PR, we're really looking at building trust in your brand, building a reputation, um, coming across as experts. So when in your marketing and, and when and when you're looking at your sales, and I always put uh, sales and marketing people, but now all hate me because I, you know, I always bump, bump it in together because I always had a sale as well while I was marketing as well. So I, uh, I always bump it in together. But when you're, um, you know, when you're at that point where you've got people who are on your list of like suspects, like they, you've reached out to them and they might, you know, be like wanting to find out a bit more information about you if you're kind of a decent company to work with. And if you've got, if there's any social proof out there that you know what you're doing, um, that's the point there when the social, um, when the PR bit um, really and the organic uh, marketing really starts to um, influence that group of people not the top of funnel so not when you're um you know when you're gathering all the random people um into your sales funnel at that stage that is more of a lead generation activity that is generally not where pr sits that's usually um a more direct kind of lead gen or paid for um like a ppc campaign or um, paid advertising, um, growth hacking, which is all the rage at the moment, um, those sorts of activities um, to gather those people into the top of the top of the funnel. So PR sits a bit further down generally, and it's really supporting um, the other work your um, marketing is doing to bring people into your sales funnel. And and the the point I always say with PR is it's a very long term steady process it isn't gonna it can get you results overnight <laughs> if you've got a damn good story and a, something amazing going on but in general most of the work we do 
is a very steady building, building and building and building a reputation um, like a pyramid. You know, just keep building on a layer on top of a layer. Um, so I just wanted to, yes, share those thoughts and um, hope they might be useful. As I always say, other PRs may not agree with me. But this is, you know, based on my experience and my opinion. And I will um, be doing some more about this topic because I think it's really important to understand where all the different parts of a marketing strategy and PR sits within a marketing strategy. Um, it's really important to understand where where in a sales process you can influence different people through different marketing activities and I think um, you know, I think I'll go a bit more on this so let me know what you think um, and thanks for tuning in take care bye